Mr. Harris here and welcome back to another video. In this video we're going to talk about universal indicator and the pH scale. So let's have a look at this diagram over here. So orange juice, as we all know, it can turn blue litmus paper red because orange juice is an acid. And we also know that lemon juice, it could also turn blue litmus paper red because it is also an acid. However, I have a question now. And my question is, could you tell me which one is more acidic? Is the orange juice more acidic or is the lemon juice more acidic? Could you tell me just by looking at the litmus paper? The answer is no. Litmus paper or litmus solution, it can only tell us that if a substance is an acid, alkali, or whether it is neutral. So it can tell us, for example, whether it is more alkaline or it's less alkaline or more acidic or less acidic. So now our job is to find out a way whether to find out a way to know whether an acid is more acidic or is it less acidic. So for that, we're going to talk about universal indicator and pH scale. So let's talk about the universal indicator. So this is actually a brown solution. which could help us to find out the pH values. I'll talk about the pH values in the following slide. So the universal indicator, as you can see on the bottom over here, you can find some of the pH values. And the pH values, you will see it on a pH scale. Okay, you have a pH scale. So the pH scale, it goes from zero all the way up to 14. So it has a range of 0 to 14. So the ones on the left, it is more acidic. In the middle, you have the neutral, whereas on the right, it is more alkaline. So let's talk about it one by one. Let's look at the acidic part first. So acidic substances, they have a pH value of lower than seven. Their pH values are lower than seven. So anything that is lower than seven, they are considered to be acids. The lower the pH of an acidic substance, the more acidic it is. So for example, pH zero, this is the most acidic for, and if you have pH four, when I compare pH four with pH one, pH 1 is more acidic, okay? Neutral substances have a pH of 7 only. So one example of a neutral substance is water, distilled water. It has a pH value of 7. Now let's look at alkaline substances. Alkaline substances, they have pH values higher than seven. So anything towards the right, the higher the pH of an alkaline substance, the more alkaline it is. So again, pH 14, this is the most alkaline. And whether, if you wanna compare, for example, pH nine with pH 12, pH 12 is more alkaline. Okay, so let's come back to the universal indicator. So we can measure the pH value using the universal indicator because we could have, we can compare it to the pH color chart over here. So let me go back over here. If you look at the color of the pH chart, 
the more acidic it is, you would notice that it is more red. And if the substance is more alkaline, you would notice that it will become more purple. Or sometimes it will be dark blue. Okay. Of course, you could also have a paper form of a universal indicator, and we call it pH paper. And on the pH paper, you will also see that there is a color chart. So if you zoom in a bit, you would see that for pH 1, it is red in color, and so on and so forth. Okay, pH 7, the one that is neutral, you would notice that it is a bit somewhere in between lightish yellow and lightish green. Okay, let's look at an experiment and see how we could apply this. So in this experiment, we're going to try and use universal indicator to measure the pH of some substances. So first, we will need to add 2 cm cube of dilute hydrochloric acid to a test tube. So just a reminder, 2 cm cube is basically the same as two milliliters okay cm cube is the same as milliliters for those of you might have forgotten dilute hydrochloric acid is an acid and then you add three drops of universal indicator and then you would shake the test tube gently and afterwards, you would observe the color of the mixture that you get. So because hydrochloric acid is an acid, you will notice that the color becomes red. And if you don't believe me, you can compare it to the pH chart, the pH scale, and you would see that hydrochloric acid has a pH value of around 1. And then we'll repeat the, the following steps with dilute ethanoic acid, which is another acid, dilute sodium hydroxide solution, which is an alkali, dilute ammonia solution, which is, I'm not sure, we'll find it out, and finally we'll use it with distilled water. So let's see what happens. So the pH value of the following substances so just now we saw the pH value of dilute hydrochloric acid was around 1. For dilute ethanoic acid, the pH value actually is around 3 to 4. Hopefully when school resumes, we'll be also able to do this experiment. For dilute sodium hydroxide solution, because it's an alkali, you'll notice that the pH value is around 13 to 14. So that's pretty alkaline. For dilute ammonia solution, this is actually also an alkali, and the pH value is 11 to 12. It is less than dilute sodium hydroxide, which was 13 to 14, and this is a bit lower. And finally, in distilled water, because it is neutral, you'll find out that the pH value is 7. So which of the following substances were neutral? Distilled water, which were acidic, dilute ethanoic acid and dilute hydrochloric acid. However, ethanoic acid was less acidic, hydrochloric acid was more acidic. Which of them were alkaline? Dilute harmonious solution is less alkaline as I mentioned, whereas dilute sodium hydroxide solution is more alkaline. Okay, I'll end the video over here. So just wanted to introduce to you about 
the pH scale and how we could use the universal indicator. In the following video, I'll talk more about the pH paper, how we could use the pH paper, and finally, I'll talk about the pH meter. Hope to see you in this next video. Bye for now.